For more videos, press the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notifications to receive the updates directly in your device. Hello friends, I Vikas Nehra welcome you all to our Nehra Classes YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to create a virtual data optimizer or VDO volume in RHEL 8. Before I show you how to create the virtual data optimizer volume in RHEL 8, let's first understand what is virtual data optimizer and why do we use it. Actually, it was introduced by Red Hat in RHEL 7.5 or later. VDO stands for virtual data optimizer. It is a block virtualization technology that provides inline deduplication and compression of data at a block device level. The idea of deduplication is quite simple. To remove copies of duplicate data and only remain with one copy. When an identical file is added on block device, it is marked as duplicate and the original file is referenced instead. In doing so, VDO helps in saving the block device volume space. It also helps us in thin provisioning of data so that we can save the block device space. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a VDO volume on a storage device on RHL 8 system. And for this tutorial, we are going to use this machine which is running on CentOS Stream 8. You can follow the same process on RHL 8 as well if you have the subscription. If you don't have the Red Hat subscription, in that case you need to configure the local YUM repository in your machine. And if you don't know how to do that, you can watch my video. I will provide you the link of that video in the description as well as in the i button. After that, you have to patch your machine so you can execute dnf update hyphen y command. This will download and install the updates if they are available. I have already patched my machine so you can see that it has nothing to do. Now we can proceed further. Now in the next step we will install the VDO packages in our machine. So we can execute dnf install kmod hyphen kvdo and vdo hyphen y press enter so this command will download and install the required packages in our machine now in the next step we can start the vdo service so we can execute systemctl start vdo command this command will start the VDO service. Now we can enable the service as well so that it can start at its own on rebooting the machine. Now we can verify the status of the VDO service so we can execute systemctl status VDO command and here you can see that the service is up and running fine. Now we can proceed further. After that we will check for the additional disk which we are going to use for creating the VDO volume. And you can see that I already have a disk of 10 GB here which is not in use. If you don't have a disk you can add it and after that you can follow the same process. So we are going to use this slash dev slash sdb disk for the VDO volume. Now in the next step we will create the virtual data optimizer volume. So we can execute this command vdo after that we will write here create then we will mention the option hyphen hyphen name and we will give the name to our volume let's give the name as vdo1 after that we will define the device that we are going to use for this so we can mention here hyphen hyphen device option and here we can write slash dev slash sdb after that we can define the logical size so we can mention hyphen hyphen vdo logical size option and here we can specify the size 
so the disk size was 10 GB and I want to create the video volume of 30 GB here press enter so it will create the video volume in many cases if you see an error here it is due to a known bug you can simply reboot the machine and follow the same process you will be able to create the video volume now you can see that the volume is ready and the location is slash dev slash mapper slash video let me verify so this is the volume now we can proceed further you can also execute video stats hyphen hyphen hu command it will show you the details of the video volume you can also execute the lsblk command and here you can see that the virtual data optimizer volume is present on the disk if you want to create the logical volume on it you can also do that let me show you to create the logical volume you have to first create the physical volume so you can execute the pv create command for that and here you will mention the path that is dev mapper video1 so the physical volume has been successfully created and you can execute the pvs command to see the details of the same you can see the size 30 gb and out of 30 gb 100 percent is free after that you can create the volume group so let me mention the volume group name as vgvdo and i want to use the same physical volume that is slash dev slash mapper slash video one and you can verify the details of the same by running the vgs command here it is now we can create the lvm so we can execute the lv create command lv create hyphen l after that we can specify the size suppose i want to create the lvm of 20 gb here after that we can specify the name so let me write here lv underscore vdo and after that i can mention the name for the volume group that is vg underscore video so the lvm is also created and you can see the details of the same the size is 20 gb after that we can format it by executing the mkfs command and i want to format it as xfs so i will write here mkfs.xfs and after that we will mention option hyphen k here and then we can write the path that is slash dev slash vg underscore vdo and the lv underscore video so it will be formatted as xfs and after that we can mount it so let me create a directory on mnt with the name as video data and we can mount it so we can execute mount slash dev slash vg underscore video lv underscore video and after that we can mention the destination path that is slash mnt slash video data and now we can verify the details of the same by running df hyphen h command so you can see that the size is 20 gb available size is 20 gb and it is mounted over the slash mnt slash video data directory now let's go to this location and we can create the data as well so i want to create 20 files in one go so you can see that the data is also created now you can again execute the video stats command to see the details here you can see that the actual size is 10 gb and available size is about 6 gb here and if you will see the output of lvs you will see the size as 20 gb and we can extend it up to 10 gb more since we created uh, the video volume of 30 gb so about 10 gb is free there now if you want to extend it you can simply execute the lv extend command lv extend hyphen l after that you can mention the size with which you want to extend it suppose you want to extend it by 9 gb you can write there plus 9 g and after that you can mention 
the path like this and it's done and to make it visible in the output of df-h as it is already showing up as only 20 GB you can execute the xfs underscore growfs command xfs underscore growfs slash mnt slash video data here it is now you can execute the df-h again and you can see the size it is now 29 GB if you will execute the video stats hyphen hu command you will see that it is saving about 98 percent of space and it is possible because we created the file system with using option hyphen k there let me show you the command since we created the xfs file system with option hyphen k which will allow us not to discard the blocks while creating the file system so this hyphen k option we used for not discarding the blocks while creating the file system and in case if you want to discard the blocks you have to unmount it first so let's unmount slash mnt slash video data mount it with the discard option so you can write there mount hyphen o discard and then you can mention the source path that is slash dev slash vg underscore video lv underscore video and slash mnt slash video data like this so it is mounted now you can have a look at this and the blocks will be discarded so guys it was all about the vdo or the virtual data optimizer volume and how can you create it on rhel 8 or in centos 8 hope you will find this video useful for you if you like it then do share it with your friends and colleagues and give a like to this video and if you are new on this channel then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification i will see you in the next one till then bye bye jai hind vande mataram take care